How about you do the intro and then I'll come and join you. Hello and welcome to my video. Yeah, and I'm just like introducing Mossy. Check. Oh yeah, it's been fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hello everybody. This is Mars' YouTube channel. <laughs> You're making me nervous now. Just what are you talking? Nervous? Did you get it? No, I got a video. Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. So today I've coerced my boyfriend Mossy into doing a video with me. It's going to be a drunk Q and A. As you can see, we've got a drink here going on. Um, so yeah, I put up a question box on you or not YouTube, Instagram. Sorry. Um, just ask us anything about. Uh, moving country, like our relationship, and like basically just like juicy questions or whatever. So, yeah, we're just gonna drink and answer our questions, uh, basically. Yeah, and Mossy's gonna stay silent for the video. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for my chance to talk. Okay, so okay. she's gonna read the questions, and that's just it, basically. Yeah, mm -hmm. right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Right, cheers. Yeah. Right, right. Biggest pet peeves about each other. Oh fuck! Straight in, yeah. straight in there. Okay, you go first, ladies first. Oh, I was hoping you go first, by the way. Uh, big pet peeve. Oh, I have a few now. I know I don't really. I only have like one or two. Lately, it's been the OCD. <laughs> it's been the OCD. Lately, it's been really bad for like uh, cleaning <laughs> okay. very intensely. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah. After this is gonna be the breakup video. <laughs> <laughs> Mine has to be not clean. <laughs> that just came. I told you. I told you. Like you, be, you know, finish the night five, put up the feet. That's it. For it's the a tough life. Okay. But to be fair, to be fair, the last two weeks you've been like getting back to your normal. What about yesterday? Yesterday I cleaned the whole house, top to bottom, floors, floors were sparkling. Which is better, Brussels or Dublin? Oh, Brussels. Brussels, yeah. Brussels, yeah. Does Massey know about the time I got? Kicked out of the Get Talks. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, for people that don't know, I got kicked out of the Get Talks. All I did was just like um, take my phone when I wasn't meant to be supposed to take it and wrote up in my Snapchat story that there was three days left. Hashtag this place is a kip. <laughs> Hashtag legend. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that big of a deal, but it. Uh, of course, I forgot I was friends with one of Kinneras, and a Kinnera, if you don't know, is like a leader or whatever. Basically, they're just like this high up person in the Gale Talks, and they been, get to like tell people what to do or not. But yeah, I kind of forgot I was friends with a Kinnera on my Snapchat, and of course, she ratted me out. And there was a board meeting about me, an actual board meeting. Long story short, they sent me home, and I was just kicked out and told to never come back. So yeah. Never Great story. <laughs> never did go back. Like, subscribe. <laughs> Share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, I Bebo. I want to be a June Delaney. I want to be. <laughs> I just want to be June Delaney and have my own channel. Come on, what That's are you doing? Fill up a drink. Can we let our two see? It's not. That's not the time. Oh my god, I was fucking too hard to eat. Give me some ice. Plus, he's late for his pump channels. Give me some ice. Oh. On the rubber. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, no, we have no ice left either. So I get like, um, one floor cube. One that's it. Important energy. Yeah, as if you have an egg on the floor for. <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't kill me. Oh, right, Molly. Okay. okay. Um, who wears the pants? <laughs> oh, you mayor. Oh fuck! Sorry. <laughs> I want to do it. Sorry, it was on autopilot, sorry. Oh, sorry. fuck's sake, anyway. I wasn't thinking. I was thinking about who's wearing the pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who wears the That's pants? That's the usual one. It's but definitely me. No, I don't think it is. No, it definitely is. She likes to think she wears the pants. It definitely is, though. It's so whenever there's most decisions, the decision usually goes to me, so. But sometimes oh. I think maybe it's just because you're too nice and you're like, I'll just let her have, per se. Yeah, you see, I try to be nice. Yeah. But he is very nice. Definitely wear the pants. It's my turn. How did you meet? Oh, okay, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to. No, we, we, met, a, we met at a house party yeah. in College Court. Like three years ago or two and a half years ago. It's when we properly met, but we initially met through a mutual friend in college. Yeah. And then that night we met 
at a house party. Yeah, but I would have thought that would be in our first meeting anyway, no? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not what I said? Bet, and then we met again. Yeah, okay, no, I fucked that, okay. Let's start that again. Okay, so, so basically. How did you meet? <laughs> why is this so different? So, yeah, how did we meet? We met at a house party. I was invited up by a friend that is also friends with Mossy. She was actually living with him at the time, but I actually knew her as well. So, yeah, wrong I, I went, <laughs> so I went up to her house party, or her. It actually wasn't her house party, sorry, it was her house, and then there was a house party on. But anyway, we had met that day when he came in from college, and then we spoke that night at the party. But I was actually in a relationship at the time, so none ever happened that night. Yeah, it was just oh. we like met to be introduced to each other. And then nothing happened for months. Months, yeah. Then all of a sudden she follows me on Instagram. Uh, this is out after, of nowhere, uh, out of nowhere. Uh, and then after that basically I broke up started, with yeah. that basically started everything off. Yeah. No, actually it was the Ray Bands that started everything yeah, off. Yeah, but that, that that happened first though. If the Ray Bands are a very iconic moment in the relationship. I got hacked on Instagram and some person started selling Ray Bonds on my account. Ray Bonds. Ray Bon Ray Mon on my account. And Mars here decided to text her. Take the text her. Of... Text her and let her know that she was being hacked. Yeah, but I was actually. And then <laughs> she was just obsessed with me from that moment forward. And offered to take me out for dinner, drinks, a dance. Oh, was it? Yeah, I don't remember it? going like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When is he pooping? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when is he popping the question? Is he Not yet. <laughs> right, when is he taking you to Paris? Oh, um, yeah, that's a great question. So I was going to take Grace to Paris in March of 2020, literally like, a few days after COVID lockdown came in. But it was only like two months after we were going out, which is quite Yeah, romantic. two, three months or so when we booked it. Um, so I was going to take it to Paris, but then obviously COVID came in, lockdown yeah. came in, so that got cancelled. Then we booked it again, didn't we? And then we booked it again, and yeah. then oh, such a nice hotel as well. Had, like, the restrictions uh, came in. There was the gap where it opened up, and there was no restrictions, so we yeah. booked it again. Then <laughs> and then that got cancelled too. So then we actually just got footy. It was really sad. So we then we ended up getting a full refund. Full refund, yeah. yeah. And it was such a perfect hotel. So I told him at the start of our relationship, if there's one place I'd love to go, it's Paris. And then he, you kind of surprised me with it actually, didn't you? And then we ended. I didn't really. I, was, no, I just rang up and was like, do you want to go to Paris? Yeah, well, <laughs> I was like, oh, we're never going to find a hotel overlooking the Eiffel Tower because obviously they were like really expensive. Mm. And then what did he do? He found oh, yeah. a really nice, and it actually wasn't even expensive. I was expecting like, oh, like crazy money every night, like 400 euro a night or something like that. But yeah, it was, what it worked out to be was... So cute, like it was such a nice hotel. Like 95 euro a night mm. for... The top level room of a hotel and with a balcony with a view of the Eiffel Tower, like probably like 500 meters away from the Eiffel Tower, mm -hmm. city centre. <gasps> I remember her name now, Camille. Oh yeah, fuck. We were having a conversation today and we couldn't remember the hotel what manager's name. Head? I have no idea, it just came to my head. Yeah, we, I knew we, it would come to my head. We spent head. like a half hour at dinner or something trying to figure out the name of the one from, from Paris. From we Paris. Then she was a hotel manager. She, we kept having to cancel and she was like so sweet. Like she was like, oh, I'll save your book. And did we let on it was like our anniversary or something? We did. Grace, we did. Grace, Grace pretended it was our anniversary oh, yeah. so we could get the suite on the yeah. top floor <laughs> with the unobstructed view. I made it out. I made it out. That was like yeah, our yeah. 60th anniversary or something. No, you said it was our first anniversary. She made out that we just got married and it was our first anniversary. That was it. We were newly events. You're only fucking 20 something then. I don't know, I just made out to be like this. Are you too. a little bit fucking <laughs> too much of this? <laughs> yeah, yeah definitely so travel tip if you're going on holidays and you're booking a hotel mm -hmm. and they have that little box where you put notes. It's like special requests or something. Yeah. Hand the phone to your girlfriend and let her type some soppy, <laughs> some soppy shite into that and I swear to God you'll arrive and you'll be treated like a fucking king. Yeah, Santorini was unbelievable. We got like the most unbelievable room with like the best view. It was good. Okay. Is it my turn or your turn? My turn. And then your turn. You're last. I'm the last. Oh. I actually do feel a bit tipsy because I'm struggling to pick my berries. 
Where the time is. I don't want rose petals here. <laughs> um, so what this is? Orange and lemon petals. Show the people. The potatoes. I got got you this for your birthday. Was it your birthday? Yeah. Savage a birthday present for anyone that likes gin. It's a bit girly, but it basically has all of these different things you put in gin. So we got like cut licorice, licorice root, coffee beans, juniper, obviously, lemongrass. Not Fennel, good. orange and lemon peels, cassia, which is like a spicy kind of. Mossy's the expert. Everything. And then, was yeah. it you, you put the gin in first, you let it infuse? Yeah, it's basically like different seeds and different botanicals that infuse with the gin so you can make your own flavor gin, basically. Anyway, um, back to it then. Uh, would you ever give Grace a hall pass? No! <laughs> Fuck. Good question, but no. <laughs> Not a fucking chance. First question, would you, Grace McDonald, ever give me a hall pass? All the time, yeah. Actually? No. <laughs> no way. You got a bit excited there, no. <laughs> and the worst part is we've been in so many different situations where we've been asked about these things. Would we ever be involved in... Yeah sharing each Live, other living in central europe so we're living in brussels now it's a very liberal, Everyone, everyone's very, very liberal open. place everyone's very open we don't judge so, the open relationships of course but we always find it mad when people ask us that since we moved here to brussels we've been out in bars and we've been chatting with this group of people yeah and this particular group of people have proposed <laughs> basically like a swinger situation yeah. to us, which is pretty crazy but i suppose that's just what you get when you're living yeah, and then it, the, the, the funny thing is, whatever group we were in, they obviously had asked me first. I was like, yeah, no, no, no. And then without me realizing, they had also asked him. And then all of them together were just like, that's that's just so mad. Like you wouldn't you wouldn't be okay with it. Like yeah, no. they were really shocked. And we were like, no, like, like we're just no, there. no, we just don't feel comfortable watching each other kiss other people. Like that would be so. I every my response every time is I'm way too jealous. Like. Fuck that, I'd be like, like biggest icks. Ladies first. Wow, like I have so many weird icks, but um. Wait, ick, ick about each other or ick in general? I think an ick in general would be. Oh, an ick in general. Maybe an ick in general and maybe an. I don't know though. Maybe not an ick about each other. That might be a bit mean. I don't know actually. An ick in general. I'd have to think about it. There's so many icks. Like, do you ever see them on your Instagram as well? And they always say these weird things. Like someone put up one time uh, a fella trying to put down his umbrella or something in the wind, you know, when you like, it go, it got like, a, the wind catches the umbrella and like it goes out the other way. Yes. And then you have to like whack it and everything to get it back to its shape. Right. I don't know, someone said like, if they see a fella doing that, they find it weird. I always do that. <laughs> I don't know everyone was uh, a fella, seeing a fella jump up and down at a concert. There we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's that's an interesting. That's 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 yeah, yeah. I like to do the screw the light bulb. <laughs> was it love at first sight? I'll let you go first. <laughs> For me, it actually was, which was really bad because obviously it was in a relationship this time. But well, no, I don't know if it was love at first sight, but it was definitely like wow, like he's very very gorgeous. And when we were talking at the house party. I remember thinking like, oh, he's just so nice and like friendly. Because at one point I got that house Harry that we met at, I got lost at one point and he was the first person I found with his, who was there with his other friend, Dara. And uh, yeah, I just remember being super nice. For me, yeah, it's a fancy first mm. sight. It wasn't love at first sight. It's hard to It was definitely good. like, okay, she's a good looking girl, but oh, love is another thing. It's like, you know, you have yeah, to get the like, like, person that kind of full on infatuated. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's a very American thing though, love like yeah it probably exists but mm. for me no i don't think so no but it only took you about like what like two or three weeks from it yeah yeah so. two or three weeks was it stressful moving country yes yes very it's very fucking stressful <laughs> would you let each other start an only fans absolutely <laughs> not <laughs> no i've no. nothing against only fans i think if you want to make an only oh fans. do you not do you have an account here yeah? no you i think do you I follow other accounts do you no i don't <laughs> But I think if anyone wants to make an OnlyFans, fair enough, you know, do whatever you want to do. But for me personally, I wouldn't start an OnlyFans and I wouldn't 
date someone who did have an OnlyFans. Yeah, it'd be the same. Well, it's, it's at the same me, time, you know, yeah, you know, it's no issue. I uh, don't judge people or anything like that that has an OnlyFans. It's just not. It's just topical though because I find like there's so it many is, uh, girls out there now and lads actually. Lads have started doing it now. Which is the one that you know? Yeah. All the tits and bits. You go. Oh. You go tits and bits. You never heard that one. No. no never. <laughs> oh my god, I got a little bit there, alright. Nice. I didn't get tits, but I got bits. Does Mossy ever get sick of taking pictures of you? <laughs> yes, <laughs> but I actually, people don't realise that I actually don't take as much pictures of her as they think because a lot of the time she has a little tripod. Actually, yeah. while we're recording this video on. Yeah, that's true. And she would go off and she'll set up the tripod and take her own pictures. Yeah. So I only kind of take them on occasion. Like if we're going out for dinner or going out for the day and she wants a picture. Yeah, well, you're very you're very patient, actually. But you've, you've been like that since the start of the relationship. It's always been like... Because you knew I was like into it since we're going out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember like our... Not our first day, but I think it was like our third day we went to Galway or something. You're like, do you want a picture? And I was like... No, no, it's fine. You're like, I know you want a picture, and I was like, okay, go on. Um, it's definitely one of the drawbacks. Like, it's definitely something that I don't love. Yeah. But it's something that I've it takes put a lot of time. It takes a lot of time, you know. know yes. Yeah. Especially me. Sometimes, sometimes I'd see like four pictures that I take, so I'm like, oh my god, perfect, we've got the shot. And then there was like that time I went to Ghent. And you yeah. took like 400 pictures. It's like an hour and we started, we started arguing inside the street because I wasn't in the mood for taking pictures. She wanted pictures. I know, it was so fussy. And then she wasn't like, happy with the pictures. Oh, so bad. And then it turns out it was actually happier with the first pictures that we'd taken because we obviously tried out so many different poses and angles. It was a disaster. But one thing I definitely noticed is the more effort you put into it and if you try to take a better picture, the whole process is over. Yeah, sure. that's so true. like if you try and put effort in, it's over in five minutes. It's done. You in fairness, it gives me like the. But if you're just taking you, you the piss, give me pointers. Like you'd just be like, oh no, you're look that way or something, and I look that way, and then I look back at it the next day, and I'm like, oh, that actually turned out really well. And you're like, see. And that's that's actually something that I learned in uh, Santorini because when we were in Santorini on holidays, oh, that literally would be just that every day. it's a fucking queue. You have to queue to take your pictures at the spot. Mm. And it's all fellas taking pictures of the birds and you see yeah. all these foreign fellas who direct their girlfriend and then they're done. Two minutes they're done. And then you see fellas who are standing there not doing any effort. Oh my god, oh my god. Somebody sent lips, someone I mean, got into my makeup bag. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Mossy was wearing Crocs, would you get the ache? Yes, I would. I absolutely hate Crocs. I would too. They're Crocs the are most <laughs> ugliest thing. I just feel like whenever somebody has a Croc on, they go from like 10 to like 2 straight away. They're just such an odd looking shoe. I never liked them. I remember like when I was a kid, they were like in fashion. It's unfair though. I think, I, I, think I could wear a pair of Crocs. And put them in sport mode like. I had an awful dress since <laughs> in college in first year. You definitely Before wore Crocs. Before I had a mask. So, like, I would have been Crocs. the kind of guy that would be wearing Crocs like when Crocs weren't cool. Thank God they took you out of that phase. Okay, okay next one. Now that you've moved country. Have you started embracing the country and started to scram ass? <laughs> Absolutely. What the fuck? Absolutely what not. The, you have to ex explain scram ass. I think it means eat ass. How long have you been together before coming to Brussels? Um, one year. Well. Yeah, one year. No, it was two years. Well, we celebrated our no. two, two year anniversary when we just arrived here. Yes. Nearly two yeah, okay. years. Actually, not two years. years. Where'd you leave out the one year, eh? <laughs> <laughs> one year. Have you ever used toys to spice things up? Um, <laughs> yes, so every Saturday morning I like to play Lego and I have <laughs> a little remote control car I drive around the house. <laughs> okay, next question. Uh, Last question, actually. Uh, if Mossy was a stripper, what would his stripper name be? Now, this is a fucking good question. What would it be? Um, like sugar lips or something because he has the big lips. No. I was thinking like Big Daddy P. Oh Jesus. <laughs> That's a pimp name. That's... Could you imagine going to a strip club and then they're like, um, thank you, Candy, for your lovely, lovely dance. Next we have Big Daddy P. Yeah, it's I just think, this woman with big titties. I think it'd and be it's good. Like, everyone would be going crazy. I think that's it. We have two more. Why not? Do we? Okay. Uh, who's the worst drunk? 
Okay, so gets more drunk. Probably you. <laughs> more hassle when they're drunk, probably me. Yeah, that's yeah, true. But yeah. not bad hassle. Not like it causes trouble, but I'm just messy. Like, yeah. Do you ever see those, those kids with like a leash on them? He's like yeah, that when he, yeah, when he gets yeah. drunk. You have to keep a leash on him because he gets easily led astray. Get easily distracted. And and just, I see something I like now. Like, <laughs> I'll go play with it. Sexual, it can be like a swing or like a road. A sex swing. Cat or dog, which would you get? Um, dog. Definitely. Yeah, you used yeah. to be a cat, but now it's a dog. No, a different cat. I always had cats growing up, but I would always like a dog. One of those cat, cat lovers, like. I came from a family that didn't allow dogs, so. Oh, what? What dogs would we get though? That's the question. I wonder. Well, I would like something like. Uh... What's that fucking dog? The one that, the the one one that, that the we one see in the park. park. You know, that I think they're like the fluffy ones. They're like an Asian dog. Chow chow. Yeah, a chow. I would like a chow. Chow. Like a big fluffy. Not too big, but like medium size, but like fluffy. Chow. Yeah. Manly dog. That's <laughs> not manly dog. Who is him? more romantic? So yeah, we're gonna do <laughs> Mossy P's dating tips channel. <laughs> I would have thought I was more romantic, 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 but I think you're. Okay. I am. Yeah. You I take yeah, you take the biscuit there definitely. Is that even the right way to say it? Take the biscuit. Take the biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> take the biscuit. <laughs> but yeah, no, he's very romantic. He um, you've done a lot of like little surprise dinner dates. Being romantic is about doing mm. random things. Yeah, but I've been asked and like yeah. listening and not cliche things. It has to be different to what normal people do. Yeah, because yeah. when you see all those things in like movies and TikTok that you're like, oh, what, you know. Like the, the fucking Mount of Girls. Like, the fucking, fucking <laughs> Mara Higgins over here. Cartas. Cartas, I'm horny, Cartas. Uh, okay, I think that's like the last of our questions that, and we're fairly- That is actually, that is yeah. it. Oh. We're okay. fairly- uh, <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's do a sign off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Um, sorry, it was a bit all over the place. Uh, but yeah, we're fairly um, tipsy now. We're just gonna head out for cocktails. So I was waiting for the knock. I could see them. There you are, done. So, That's it, cut. But yeah, thanks for watching. No, um, really that was it. That was no, it. No, it's not done yet. <laughs> okay, we'll do one more knock. Go on. Thanks for watching and. Yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm sure I'll have Mossy again soon. Maybe next time I might do like a drink or shot of one. Maybe we'll see. We'll be back by popular demand. Yeah. If there's lots of comments and likes. <laughs> likes. Shout outs to bring Mossy back, I'll come back. Yeah, that's true. Alright, done. Bye.